Hello friends! Welcome to Gardening with Nunai and today I will share with you what's the update in my garden. Today is uh, June the 6th so let's go and see. These are my tomatoes. Um, I just transplanted them. Um, I know I'm kind of late in um, seeding them and I have been busy so they've been held off. Uh, but hopefully, because I have a greenhouse, um, I should be okay. And here's the okra. Uh, needs transplanting. And what's going on here is I don't know, because I could see some beads under it. Um, this is the first time this happens, and I have been um, keep. Uh, keeping the greenhouse open lately uh, so I just let them get cold at times uh, to acclimatize them to the weather um, especially if I want to bring them outside and um, this is some polyas I got from Canadian Tire that I want to use um, in my hanging basket and I want to bring in some inside um, too, because they're so pretty can't uh, can't beat that <laughs> it's so beautiful and more okra there that is um not driving so well i need to do something about that um and some more um tomatoes and some more coleus i'm propagating they're getting cold that's why they're kind of struggling more tomatoes still and um, what do you call it? Um, it's still struggling to. It's the um, insulin plan, they call it. They have some distortion up there. And I have some long noodle beans down there. It got cold from last night, but it will be okay. I have some uh, Chinese cabbage and that beautiful uh, sweet potato that I will use on my planter for vining. I love it. I really like that uh, contrast for um, light green. As you can see, it's they really complement. And I have some annuals here that I want to put in my in my or hanging baskets that I have to work on and on the other side of the greenhouse um, there's some nasturtium looks like um, it's only the, um, the dwarf pine is coming out maybe the other nasturtium has been uh, has been bad because it's a very old seed and some more tomatoes here my indigo rose um, I have to to uh, do something about it because it's it has been struggling to grow and I just me and my um, daughter planted some cucumber yesterday and I have um, Chinese cabbage there and this is some calendula, some strawberry. I'm hoping this is the pink bloom. And some amaranth. Um, this is uh, amaranth. Uh, love likes bleeding, this one. It has a very long, um, deep red, long um, purple. Uh, I mean blue so I have more tomatoes here this is the tomato sweet tea um, and I have a sweet potato here that is sort of struggling with aphids so I, I just blasted them with um, water spray water so let's go outside 
that some a potato I started indoor. I just used a grocery potato that sprouted. And here's more of my um, seedlings. Zinnia there. I'm acclimatizing them to the weather outside. That's why they're out of the greenhouse. I have marigolds and some um, sunflowers. This is um, Angel's Breath, Cosmos, and that's uh, Creeping Jenny for my planters. Okay, hopefully, it will get done. Some veggies growing on. These are some peas, some violas right there, and some Chinese cabbage. And they're ready for harvest. And that's some garlic. And that's some vine weed that I can harvest uh, later. And this is some, um, oh, of course, some wheat. Some grass. Oh, must be some grass that I need to eat. I think I have some. Um, could be Alaskan poppy and garlic potatoes are luscious more potatoes it's a Russian blue potato it's a prince orange and here more garlic my plum tree it's not producing this year it's only its second year but it's okay next year will be better over here and on this side of the greenhouse this is the West side of the greenhouse, we have some bees. This should be homesteader. We have some peas right there. And peas on the ground. I don't know. I think the, the slugs will come out soon. So let's see if they will take off. <laughs> and I have this is my compost as you can see the echo bin have potatoes and I put um, an early variety it's called a velanita so I'm pretty excited about that <laughs> and my peas right there look at that oops Luscious, comfy, starting to bloom, but I think I have to chop it down to feed to the plants. It's a very good source of nitrogen and many other minerals for the plants. This is the apple tree. And on the side of my greenhouse, I mean on the side of our garage, on the side of our garage are these um, Chinese cabbage. This is um, I think this is a Brussels sprout. It's from my girlfriend Rizelle. And there's some Chinese cabbage here that I have harvested before. Looking good. Here, good 
cream lately and I have some flowers on my hanging basket some comfy spinach fern lotus grass I planted beans right there and I forgot the name of this perennial but it's in yellow bloom and they said it's a medicinal perennial and this is a uh, Purple sunflower, I believe, and that's uh, Angel's Breath. Uh, this cross, I think I planted some beans over here, and that's another. Um, I think it's a fall sunflower, and I have a plum tree over here that's producing. Look at that. This is actually a good year for this. Hopefully, we'll get good fruit this time. This is the first time for us. We really haven't had a good uh, good harvest from this. So this will be. This looks like a promising year for the plum. Blessings. Here we'll go to the side of the house, the side of the deck. But I have some potatoes. Go potatoes, which is in bags, as you can see. Some tiger lily and that's some gladiolas, more gladiolas, and an empty spot. And here's the grape of vine. to the blue chair. And this is some sunflowers that self-seeded. And if you're in Edmonton, you can always come to my garden. I have always something to give to you. some beads it has some leaf miner um this is um from the grocery store it's it's the beads um i can harvest that for salad or wait for the flower and have some seeds it's some lily that i have to watching the red lily beetle this one is called a um, million onion it's a perennial so it's also a very good um, spring onion more peonies To do something about that, and this is an Egyptian onion, mostly spring onion, and it's really. 
really big, you guys. It's like 24 inches or more. If you could see, that's my hand right there. <laughs> and I have some lingerie there. And this is my shade patch where I put so many things in there like um, Chinese cabbage, carrots, um, beets, radish, and many uh, shade loving crops because this is the shaded part and that's what and this is a uh, covering because many things like that. This is the strawberry patch and we have some ripe ones Look, you guys it's almost ready this is a chickweed oh <laughs> that's odd that's so cute though I think I'll take it out Strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> this bed is so luscious. Look at that. How much. So green. And there's so much fruit inside. Hiding from the birds. This is an apple tree with strawberries growing underneath. Another strawberry patch and strawberry um, really works well with beans, so I'm gonna plant some beans on that empty patch. And I have some in here that struggled because of ants and in this patch are some varieties the self seeding viola Kinesha, this patch, um, the 
cosmos um, self seeded but I planted some pink corn in here in there that's a fern it's beautiful and now let's go outside okay, and that's a chive it's becoming lighter now season roses sedum husky poppy and that's a distort on the other side of the bed I also planted some chives William and that's a yellow loose drive over here is um, Angel's Breath Rose it's a um, custard bellflower that's a foxglove right there that's a Veronica right there and this is a um, Siberian iris and, and last but not the least is the star of the garden for this episode is the purple allium. Look at that. Make sure, guys, I shoot in the shade. So I waited late in the afternoon so for you to appreciate the color and the beauty of this purple allium. I hope you enjoyed the garden update and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.